So I had to reread the story at first because I honestly couldn't believe it. But this hospital in San Francisco conducts research where the reproductive and digestive tracts of aborted unborn babies were being transplanted into rodents for study. What are some of your ethical concerns with these types of experiments? Well, I mean, obviously, as a pro-lifer, I oppose all abortions for any reason because they intentionally end and violently end the life of a human being who has value. What we're seeing happening here at UCSF, which, by the way, University of California, San Francisco, is, you know, kind of the epicenter of abortionist training in our country. And they are the ones leading the charge when it comes to uh, experimenting on the broken bodies of infants that are aborted. So this is the epicenter hospital there at UCSF. Um, and what we're seeing there is just it's unbelievable. I mean, these are children who by their own admission were between 18 and 24 weeks, meaning they could feel excruciating pain during their abortions. These are children that had were perfectly healthy, had no uh, genetic abnormalities who were aborted. And then their abortions were then their child, their bodies were used to conduct this research. And we don't know if their mothers were informed. We don't know how uh, the abortion facility was reimbursed. We know from David Delayden and the Center for Medical Progress's work that the abortion industry actually makes money off these types of abortions. And there's a question of coercion. Is, you know, were women told to wait later in their abortion to have their abortion in order that so the baby would be bigger so they could, you know, dissect uh, a child who is older and then Im implant these uh, intestinal tissues into these rodents. It's absolutely disgusting. And the sad fact is we've actually been funding it as taxpayers for years. It all, it reminds me of another horrifying story that I heard back in 2014. I believe it was in Oregon that taxpayers mm -hmm. there as well were funding little baby bodies to be incinerated, to be used, at, to be burned for fuel, for energy in the state of Oregon. And again, that was only six years ago. This wasn't, you know, 60 years ago or 600 years ago. This is very recent and it's very scary stuff. And I think it comes down to how our society dehumanizes life in the womb. Would you agree? Absolutely. And I think this is that very slippery slope. If you all remember when the Center for Medical Progress just in 2015 showed on videotape their, you know, directors haggling over the price of the, the broken bodies of children they aborted, they never disputed that they weren't doing that. They never disputed that. In fact, there's never been any lawsuits filed or any rests made against, you know, Center for Medical Progress for, you know, editing tapes or being dishonest. All the legal charges have been, did he have the right, did David have the right to film? But what is so uh, sad was Cecile Richards at the time, president of Planned Parenthood, other abortion advocates actually defended Planned Parenthood and the abortion industry's actions here, saying, well, you know, the bad of the abortion is outweighed by the good that this research does. And I think this it develops into this slippery slope. And we have to be constantly on our guard to say, you know, it does the what we're trying to do, you know, the research, the vaccine, the disease we're trying to cure, is there a way to do that without destroying other human beings and dehumanizing other human beings? Because we all know that's a slope that we've been down far too many times as a human race, and it never, ever ends well.